The way that new drugs are being discovered has changed thanks to rapid advances in technology. UCB's ambition is to transform the lives of people living with severe diseases with a focus on translational research, bridging the gap between what is uncovered in the lab and how this translates to the patient. Nick Wallace went to UCB headquarters to see how new techniques are leading to scientific breakthroughs. The scientists at this UCB lab are discovering monoclonal antibodies which could one day be used to help people with debilitating conditions. Patients are central to UCB's approach to translational research, with an emphasis on improving the connectivity between the patient and science. Translational medicine is being able to think about not just what goes on in the laboratory, what goes on in the test tube, but seeing how that actually translates into the disease setting of individual patients, you know, the bedside, quite literally. And then beyond that, day to day, the, the, the scientists in our laboratories in Slough are working on discovering both new chemical entities, small molecules as we sometimes call them, and new antibodies, new biologics. And it's a, it's a daily process of sifting through enormous numbers of, of compounds and of antibodies and doing that in an intelligent way, looking for ways of assaying and screening molecules to find the ones that really do what we want in any given disease situation. UCB's research into genetics could also have far-reaching effects. There are lots of ways to find a new treatment, but one way is to look at rare genetics. To look at patient populations which might be very, very small, but we can identify from genetics exactly what the cause of their disease is. UCB's High Content Imaging Laboratory allows their scientists to gain detailed insights into the biology and function of human cells, and can be used to evaluate multiple samples and conditions within the same experiment. We have two major areas of focus within UCB, which is neurology and immunology. Um, and we also have an interest in fibrotic diseases. And what UCB have been trying to do is actually understand the mechanism of um, fibrotic diseases further. And one of the things that we've actually um, been doing is actually to build better models of fibrotic disease using um, cells from human tissue um, and actually using cells from patient material. UCB are also using specialised brain imaging techniques to better understand how diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's and epilepsy progress. But finding cures for conditions which affect millions of people requires collaboration at almost every level. This is not a one company issue. These diseases pose massive challenges to society. So we work widely across multiple pharmaceutical companies with charities, with patient organisations um, to basically develop in unison and, and as a collaboration methods that can actually take accurate pictures of the brain and understand disease processes and also how our drugs are affecting the brain once we test them. Working collaboratively can mean sharing resources like this cutting-edge antibody discovery robotic platform. A partnership between UCB and the Medical Research Council gives academics the opportunity to use it with the aim of enhancing new drug discovery and improving patient outcomes. UCB's novel technology provides academics with access to high throughput and immune sampling repertoires that just wouldn't be accessible anywhere else. This enables the academics to actually uh, screen up to 1 billion B cells uh, for an antibody that, that might have the rare characteristics that are required in this day and age in order to develop a therapeutic antibody. If they were to do this within their own setup, it just wouldn't be possible. UCB is leading the way in using new technologies to better identify potential therapies for diseases which affect millions of people. Its team of scientists are committed to embedding the translational mantra of bench to bedside into every aspect of their work.